train to come, eh? I'm born in Odenarde. Odenarde is uh, where the Finnish is of Flanders. So since I was a kid, I saw all the biggest riders. This is, uh, for me, the best time of the year. The most important part of the year. Well, it's not important, but the best part. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. It's important to you. Yeah. It's important, but it's special. I'm preparing sandwiches and a little bit of like, something to eat for everyone. And for uh, 23 people. <laughs> For a lot That's of people. A lot. Look at that bread. <laughs> it's, it's There's so much food. bread. Eh? Half of them is already gone. Eh? Yeah. It's a lot today. Ah, supporter Arno, yeah. That's <laughs> all. It is now well a herinnerlijk character. And hopefully, vandaag laat hem iets zien. Thanks, Dave. Stop, do you want to destiny? These are the sausages, this is the hamburger, or mustard, or ketchup, curry ketchup, Andalusia, samurai, mayonnaise, what do you want? <laughs> This is Arnold de Lee's Orbea Orca Aero. You can absolutely bang it. We're with GCN, we're doing some top secret tech. We have been looking around all the teams ahead of E3 Harrelbeck. And we've been very lucky to get our hands on Arnold de Lee's Orbea Orca Aero, and it is a cracking machine. It doesn't quite fit me, so I can't ride off on it. I need a bigger size. But I did think about it, I'm not going to lie, although I might have lost my job. Beautiful bike though. Love the bull on it. El Toro, what a detail. Wish them big luck, yeah. Big Belgian team, fingers crossed. Let's see if I'll be a get the first uh, classic. I mean, we're in Belgium. It's super, it's super hard. Two it's, weeks it's, of super hard races, yeah. These these guys are, are are like fully focused. They realize it's it's showtime. But even then, you you need to have the uh, the legs. Uh, I'm certain they did, did everything they could today. But it was not just not our day. And uh, 13th today is good. But we a much higher direction. And Weverham, Waterham, Tour of Flanders, also a tough one. And uh, Roubaix, that must be one that we that we perform well. And uh, let's not drop morale. Uh, we have good riders, uh, they are in a good condition, and uh, let's see on Sunday. Today was uh, just the little Tour of Flanders, and Tour of Flanders is just three, four times, five times bigger, I don't know. de rouler les, les classiques flamantes parce que voilà il y a du vent il y a de la pluie et euh, c'est ça qu'on aime we uh, did the easy ride because uh, yesterday was a let's say a tough race and um, yeah we were lucky that it stayed dry and sunny and uh, we had a small coffee in uh, the city of Kortrijk which was uh, so you had a coffee yeah which was uh, enjoyable I wanted to be there eh? yeah you should have should have come but we, maybe we, we should have shared a live location but we forgot it so next time we'll do it um, yeah Vlaanderen that's uh, that's where I'm from so there's always a special connection to Als Vlaams herinner door de Vlaams herinner te rijden en uh, de sfeer, alles wat er rond hangt, het is echt, echt genieten tijdens het afzien. Ik denk uh, speciale combinatie 
koersen zoals dat hier in Vlaanderen zijn, uh, die vind je nergens anders. everything for the course of tomorrow like Gent Wevelgem will start here and we give like the start of the holy week so these two weeks mean a lot yeah for Belgian cycling and yes a lot indeed like all the fans of the cycling they will move from place to place so you will see like a lot of people well it's uh, it's windy that's clear and uh, race starts in Ypres we go towards the coast then we, when we come back inland 100% uh, sure echelons and traditional uh, Gent Weerham is a race uh, echelons and then uh, three times the Camelberg it's gonna be a hard race it's gonna be hard eh? yeah so what's the key for the team you would say positioning it's <laughs> I mean I, I repeat this almost every time in in, in the meeting uh, in the briefing when we do the briefing before the race boys listen it's it's all about position because, by example, when you, when you start a climb like the Camelberg to say something in position 100, maybe you can move up 20, 25 places, but you're still not top, top 20. Sure, sure, yeah. When you start in the first 10, 15 and you lose some positions, you're still in top 25. So my advice is always also that uh, do an effort before the difficulty and then survive. <laughs> How's it going? It's going great. It's not quite the Paggio yet. Cycling is a way of life here. Old ladies are cycling, little kids. A little kid, maybe eight or nine, just went up the, went up this. I was saying, looks better than I did this morning, right? So yeah, that it's, the Italians are passionate about their cycling, but it's, it's in the blood in Belgium. I rode this today, this morning. Really? Yeah, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I told her earlier, I said, if there hadn't been people watching, I would have quit. I would have quit. It was hurting so bad. <laughs> 